All right, welcome to the New Puck Video Study Guide number 46. Let's look at question uh, 7 in the calculus section of guide 1. Um, and you'll notice, if you're following along, that um, uh, question 7 actually has parts A through N. So it's going to be a long uh, question, but, you know, we're just going to break it up and do each of its parts individually. Or it looks like, uh, again, if you're following along, you can see that parts C through K are pretty straightforward or at least C through J, um, and uh, so those we can maybe even do in, in a single video. But let's uh, take a look at part A here, which just asks us to uh, find the uh, derivative with respect to x of x sine squared x. There's sort of two paths to the solution on this one. Number one is we just do the product rule twice. The other one is we do the product rule once, and then we can actually take care of this sine squared of x using the chain rule, which is pretty cool. And uh, they both give us the same result, obviously. So let's go ahead and do what we would do first. So first we would uh, uh, do the uh, product rule on this since we have two factors that are each a fun, uh, function of x. We have the algebraic factor and then this trig factor here. So uh, we're going to have the, uh, the derivative of the first times the second. So that'll just be the derivative of this is just one. So sine squared of x, right? Plus, plus the, uh, the first times the derivative of the second. So this will be uh, x and then d dx, right? Sine squared of x. Okay, so this this is where we can either do um, chain rule or we can just do the uh, product rule again, right? So let's let's take this over here and uh, let's do it with uh, product rule first. Product rule, right? So we would have d dx sine squared of x, so that's just sine of x times sine of x, right? So that will be um, the derivative of the first times the second, so that would be uh, cosine x sine x plus the derivative of the second and times the first, right? So that is also going to be sine of x, cosine of x. So we'll get uh, 2 uh, cosine of x, sine of x, right? OK. So, And then we bring this up, multiply by x, and add it to our sine squared of x. OK, but we can also do this using chain rule, right? Okay, so here uh, we would have uh, d dx, let's just start by writing it out again, uh, sine squared of x. And so the sine squared is sort of our, our outer function, right? And the inner function is sort of just the sine of x, right? So this is equal to uh, d sine squared of x, d sine of x, right? times d sine of x dx. And so these operators here would sort of cancel and we'd be left with d sine squared of x dx, right? And so this equals, uh, we know we know what this equals here. You know, this is sort of like saying du squared du, right? So this is just 2 uh, sine of x, right? Times d sine x dx, so that's just cosine x, right? So we get the same thing, right? So we can use chain rule or product rule on that second part there. So the overall solution then, right? d dx x sine squared of x equals this first term sine squared of x plus this term times x, so 2x cosine x sine of x. Right? So we can sort of block that off there like that. And I think I uh, should agree with the uh, solution developed in the uh, solution manual. Actually, I think uh, if, you're, if you're following along with the solution manual, um, 
you'll see that I think uh, for the solution of 7a, um, this, this x, this factor of x here, right, is, uh, is omitted, right? Um, so they have, you know, this term is correct, right, which is the derivative of the first, right? Derivative of x is just 1 times the second. And then when we have the, uh, de uh, the first times the derivative of the second, I think they forgot to, uh, to include this term, right, and then bring this term all the way down to the final solution. So it should be sine squared of x plus 2x cosine of x sine of x. Um, and this may be missing the solution. So anyways, just a heads up if you're following along with that. Um, but other than that, pretty simple. I think that's pretty neat how we can use a, either the product rule or the chain rule in that second part and get to the same, uh, same solution. So I think that's about it. Um,